Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video. I am here inside of Treetop Hotel, and oh no, look, Zack! Zack is very slowly getting chased by a zombie, and one's coming the other way! It's alright, Zack, I'll save you! <laughs> that was like a, like a slow motion, like, chase there, you know, as if they're on the moon, and they're in, like, zero gravity, and they're, they're like, very slowly getting chased by something, and they're, like, sort of really close, but just out of reach, running slowly. That was quite funny. <laughs> it's actually a, um, a blood moon at the moment, so there's gonna be, uh, quite a lot of googlies, uh, attacking me throughout the next, uh, uh few minutes in this video. Uh, but I'm not having a violent video. I'm not fighting any bosses or anything. Um, unfortunately, I do enjoy that. Uh, but I feel like it is time that uh, I properly got some good solid work done on my hotel. And uh, that's kind of what I've been doing in the past few videos, but uh, not particularly effectively. So I'm determined to have a proper good video building uh, inside of my hotel. And the first thing I'm going to do is uh, what I said about in the last video. Oh, no, 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 there's another chase. Oh, look, the zombies come after me. <laughs> oh, do I love how slowly they run. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bunch of roots and so I'm just going to dig a few tunnels down in like a few different directions. Not too big, uh, just because I don't want to spend too long on it, but yeah, just a few little tunnels down like this and they can be a bit rough and all over the place just because um, like they're supposed to look all natural. And then these are going to be the roots to the hotel and I'm just going to fill them all full of wood there and I know Zach's got an eye going after him. You know, Zach, if you left the door shut and just went in your room, you would have been absolutely fine. Oh, he's, he's gone to uh, seek shelter here from Bowen. If you remember Bowen the Boulder, he's uh, a new pet that I got at the end of the last video. And he's just been uh, sitting there very happily. You can see there, there's Bowen the Boulder down there. <laughs> I feel like I want to accessorize him a bit. Shall I put some arms on him? There we go. There's some... Oh, I should make another boulder and do a head. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> What's this? What, like two minutes into the video and I've already got distracted from what I'm supposed to be doing? <laughs> this is supposed to be my good building video. Right, let's very quickly give Bo and the boulder a head. And then, uh, then we can uh, carry on with our day. Right, if I just go and plonk this on top there, if I get it in the middle. Oh, it's like either one side or the other. Can I not do it, like, directly on? Um, <laughs> he's got a little bit of a wonky head. He looks like he's tired. He looks like he's like resting his head on his arm or something because he's like had a really long day. That's kind of hilarious. Let's make him holding a torch as well. Can we do that on the little platform? Oh, I don't think I can. I oh, know there's another zombie going after Zach. Zach, stay inside. It's past your bedtime. It's past your curfew. Leave the door shut and stay inside. Look, this door's open over here. It's probably me that opened it to be fair, but look, let's shut that door there. Let's go and shut this door here. And if you stay where you are, Zach, you'll be absolutely fine. I think I've had Zach from right at the start. Like, pretty much all of the uh, the other guests in my hotel have kind of, like, uh, like come and gone. You know, I've had replacements for them. But I believe Zach was the, the first person. I may be wrong. He, he probably has died at some point. But uh, I feel like he's been with me for quite a while. And uh, the only reason I can tell that is because I can actually remember his name. And uh, I never remember the name of anyone else that stayed in my hotel. <laughs> despite the fact that, like, they're with me the entire time. Right, so yeah, what I'm going to do is just a bunch of, like, uh, little tunnels going down like this. And uh, it's all going to be a bit random and all over the place. But I'm going to do my normal thing of kind of just building it. And then afterwards going back and trying to sort it out if it doesn't look very good. So uh, it's basically supposed to look like a bunch of roots. And uh, then what I'm going to do once I've managed to finish this is I'm going to uh, go back to my, my little basement. And I'm going to try and make it into a bar, like a basement bar kind of thing. And uh, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do like a keg thing there, so I can have beer, and then I'm gonna have like a piano, so we can play songs and have tables and stuff. And it's gonna be like uh, a nice little clubhouse here down in my basement, because that's that's what I've always wanted. I've always wanted a house with a basement. I can convert it into like a like a little fun room, you know, just full of games and stuff. And I wish there were more games. I wish I could do like arcade machines, like pinball, or I don't know, like table tennis. I don't know, just anything like that. I wish I could do some of that stuff. But uh, sadly, I'm gonna have to make do with uh, what this game gives us which is basically furniture so instead of having pinball i can have a um uh, piano and instead of having table tennis i can have tables just normal average everyday tables right so th this will probably be the the biggest route because it's going straight down the middle and should I have a quick look on the map and see kind of how this is looking and that looks okay actually you can kind of see like imagine like that was all filled up with wood uh, they would kind of look like roots and like there's not going to be anything in them they're literally just there to look like roots so they don't have to be particularly like well built or like particularly good looking let me just fill that uh, bit back in there if i can 
Um, oh no, I've just filled it full of wood. Right, here we go. Here we go to the bad building. I'm always so self-conscious building in this game. Like, I'm okay in Minecraft. Like, I make a lot of mistakes and stuff. But in this game, I'm awful. Like, if I played it while not recording, I'd been fine. Like, what I need to do is I need to get someone to sneakily come in and record me playing. Like, while I don't think I'm being recorded. And then you'll see, I'm not awful. I'm not actually really bad at every single game. It's just the second I start recording and the second I start trying to talk, while I'm playing, that's when all hell breaks loose. That's when I start completely mucking things up and placing the wrong blocks and using the wrong tools and when, with my commentary just saying the wrong things and saying embarrassingly bad jokes. Like, normally, if you speak to me in real life, I can speak fine. I don't say bad jokes. I can hold a conversation. I'm fine with small talk. The second I start trying to, like, commentate while recording and knowing people are going to watch and trying to concentrate on doing stuff at the same time, I just get awful, you know? I don't know why I'm trying to be a commentator. <laughs> right, here we go. This should look okay. I'm going to do one more uh, route going down the side here. There's that, that weird tunnel right next to my house. I might have to, um, I might have to get rid of that. It's just, like, a, a big drop. I think that was supposed to be, like, my first mine, but, yeah, I, I never really explored it too much, so uh, I think at some point I'm going to have to go and fill all of that in, which, um, I'm kind of dreading because it's probably going to take a while, but uh, I can have, like, another little route coming down the side here, and uh, then all I need to do is go and, uh, fill all of this in with some wood, and are you okay down there, Bluey? You're kind of jumping up and down like crazy there. You're kind of making me a little bit dizzy. Cut that out. <laughs> right, I could either do it the walls or just actual wood. I think if I just do it actually wood blocks, um, I, I think that would uh, look better. I just want to... I just want to be careful that I don't get myself stuck down there. <laughs> I think this will actually look pretty awesome. And uh, please, uh, please keep coming up with suggestions, by the way, for the um, the the top of my uh, treetop hotel. Uh, like, I haven't actually had one day yet where I've gone through and like read all of the suggestions. Like, uh, I've read quite a lot of them. I always try and uh, go through the comments like the second the video is uploaded. Uh, but then normally I'm uploading another video straight after and I get distracted and stuff. But yeah, please do keep uh, giving me suggestions for things that I could build at the top of my hotel because, to be honest, I have no ideas. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what to build. I probably should have built. Uh, what I'm building in the basement up there had like a little clubhouse or something. I suppose I could have like a restaurant. I could have like a really luxury hotel and I need to have like a swimming pool up there somehow if I can maybe get water up there and have like a really fancy restaurant and a gym and all sorts. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait until this is completely done. Then I can uh, start work on some of my little mini games and some other ideas I've got and uh, uh, my actual proper house which I'm going to live in which is going to be separate. I think I'm going to have like a really modest house because this whole thing is kind of I don't know, a little bit over the top and massive and like literally about as big and tall as it could be in Terraria. I kind of want to have a massive contrast with my own house and have it, I don't know, all kind of like cute. Maybe like a little hut on top of like a hill or something and just have a nice little fireplace. And it can be like my little retreat, you know, like after a busy day running the hotel and uh, all of the kerfuffle that would happen there, I can go back and relax in my little hut and that would be quite, uh, quite cool. Right, what I'm actually going to do now, because I've very quickly realised that uh, because I'm so slow and rubbish and because this is quite a lot to do uh, It's probably gonna take me a very long time uh, to do all of these routes So I'm actually gonna start building the um the actual uh, the basement bar here And then uh, a little bit later if I got time I'll go and fill all of these routes in because uh, I'm basically just like filling in a whole massive area And it's a little bit boring. I don't really I don't really want to do a boring video I want to I want to actually be building and having some fun So let's have a quick look uh, on the map and see what that route looks like. I think it looks okay Like I think they might have to be a bit big maybe a bit thicker and uh, maybe like go a bit lower maybe uh, but it does kind of look like the roots of a tree I'm kind of happy with uh, how the hotel's turning out despite my slow and rubbish way of doing it right so I guess the first thing I need to do if this is going to be my little bar is to add a bar so if I do it over here um that can kind of be it. If I do like a double bit of wood there, then I can have like a seat there. Like it's a bit awkward in 2D compared to a uh, Minecraft. Actually, no, it needs to be further back. I need to have a keg. I need to have the keg behind the bar, right? How do I make a keg? Uh, I think you need a, uh, a sawmill. Right, let's test my knowledge. Let's test my knowledge of, um, of crafting then because I've not crafted properly in a while. Yeah, I can have a keg. Uh, I can have a fireplace. Um, I, I need some furniture. I need some, some chairs. I've got four chairs. And then I can have two tables as well. Um, what, what else would I have in there? Uh, I think this will do for now. If I go and place all of this stuff in here. And uh, yeah, so I also want a piano. I can have some bookshelves as well. You know, when like pubs have like old bookshelves and stuff. Always looks quite nice. So uh, that, that's, that's kind of the thing I'm going for. So I can have a keg down here. And I do actually believe you can make like beer or like 
uh, L, I think it's called in this game. And so I'm going to have a go trying to make some of that. And I'm going to have a, a quick taste of a Stampy's Brew, I think I might call it. <laughs> Which Stampy's Tasty Brew. That's that's what I'm going to be um uh, trying to make a little bit later on. It's going to be a massive hit, I tell you. Right, let's put the chair down. I knew that chair would be facing the wrong way. The furniture is always facing like the way you don't want it to. There we go. So there's the little chair at the bar. And I can be behind here like a barman. <laughs> I actually used to be a barman, so I'm going to be... Uh, quite at home at all of this. Right, then I can have a fireplace over in the other corner. And uh, the fireplace is basically just a furnace. And I want this to all look really nice. I think this was this should could be like a really nice looking area. I can have a few chairs here either side. And why that? Why is that the wrong way round? Right, that one's the right way round. Uh, if I do it like... I remember I did learn how to place things the right way round. But I've completely forgotten now. Um... If I try, I think if I move in that direction, does that do it? There we go, there we go. I got my two little chairs by the fireplace. And uh, what I might actually do is uh, just steal some of the stuff that I've made before and kind of put it back down, uh, just because I'm not sure if I've got enough to craft all of this place. So I'm going to steal the grandfather clock and uh, I'm going to make uh, probably a few more bookshelves and stuff. I should have a bunch of books. Here we go, I've got 30 books here. And uh, is, is that enough to make a, a couple bookshelves? I'm not sure what else you do with books. I think all books do uh, uh, is like make pianos and bookshelves and stuff. So uh, I suppose there's no point saving them. Uh, so I just need to, I need to be near a sawmill. I do have enough though. I do have enough to make a, a few bookcases actually. I think they're called not bookshelves. There we go. I can make two bookshelves. And what is it to make a piano actually? I think you need bones. Oh yeah, you only need four bones. That's actually pretty cheap. I can uh, easily make a new piano. That way uh, I can leave my, uh, my other piano upstairs. And I think bones should be in here. Check me out, knowing what's in all of my chests. <laughs> Who needs to label them? Like, there's no point labeling them because you can't read the sign unless you click on it. And if you've clicked on it, you might as well have just clicked on the, the chest anyway and just <laughs> immediately seen what you wanted. Right, do I need to be near a sawmill to make a piano? Yeah, I do. I actually need uh, the sawmill to make quite a lot of different things, actually. Like, this is good. This is me properly learning how to craft things. Like, I crafted, like, most items once. And then, like, that was it. So this is a good a good reminder, you know. If you want to remember something, you don't do it once. You do it once, then you leave it for a bit, then you do it again. That way uh, it will properly sink in, you know. That's why they keep making you do your homework as well. You learn it at school, then you go home and you finish it off. So uh, don't moan. <laughs> That's how you learn, right. So I need a grandfather clock as well. And I can put that uh, right over here in the corner, I guess. Uh, if I put it down there. Can I not put it there? What's that? Oh, I've got a, a mechanic's arrived. Is, is that new or is that someone that I've had before and then they've died and <laughs> I've now got a replacement coming? <laughs> right, I guess I'm going to do another another table and chair down here, I guess. So there we go. Look, I'm actually placing things in the right place for once. And uh, I got a couple tables here, so I can go and place one there. And then see if I can get this chair in the face in the right way. There we go. Jolly good. I'm finally learning to build. I think I should do some more as well. If I um, put the bookshelf right down there. Uh, not the bookshelf, uh, sorry, the piano. I'm going to do another uh, table there. And then I should be able to use that table to craft a few chairs, I believe. Uh, let's see if I can remember where the chairs are. They're somewhere around here. I know, I, I need a I need a proper workbench. Oh, why can't I use the table? It's the exact same thing, just a little bit lower down. Right, then if I make two more chairs, I'm very quickly running out of wood, you know. I wouldn't like there to be a fire in this hotel. I think the whole place would uh, go down pretty sharp. Is. But here we go. This looks really awesome. i still got a few more things to place. I can put my bookcases down. Like, I, lo I love how, like, sort of kind of crowded and cluttered it kind of looks. I really like that. I like the, I don't know, it looks like a like quite a busy, exciting place down here and if I get rid of that torch I want some proper lights though I need to make some candles for the table that would look quite cool and maybe some chandeliers and some of these banners as well <laughs> oh this is really awesome this is what I like doing I don't like building big things I've just decided I like decorating I like making lots of nice little details and how do I make chandeliers can I make chandeliers or are they um not in this section assuming like they'll be there with all the lights oh here we go here are chandeliers down here uh, I can make bronze, silver, or gold. Um, I think I might go with silver. I think gold might be a bit expensive, and bronze is a bit ugly. Oh, what's that? I need, I need like, iron chains, though. Right, let, let's get everything that, um, uh, that I think I'm going to need. I think I'm going to need some iron from here. So I need some silver as well, so I take some silver... And then take some iron. Uh, see, all of, all of those mining videos are all paying off now because I got a load of materials. <laughs> and then I need to make like a, like a chain or something as well, don't I? Uh, let's go back down here and see uh, exactly what I need to do. So 
I think I make the chain here, or is that something that I need to find? Because I remember you had to make the uh, the grappling hook you needed, that that chain thing. Oh, here we go. I need an iron chain. So if I make two iron chains, uh, that should be enough now to make two silver chandeliers is the plan. If I can uh, find where chandeliers are again. I still don't like the crafting menus in this game. I'm not sure. I don't know. Just something about them just seems uh, a little bit awkward. But right, here we go. I got my two chandeliers. So I'm going to put uh, one up. Uh, there, I think. And oh, it goes down quite low. I didn't expect it to go quite that low. And I put one... Uh, I can't put it over the bookshelf. There we go. This looks quite awesome. So I'll see if I can make some uh, make some candles now. Uh, what do I need in order to make candles? I need... Oh, you need gold? What? Well, why is it more expensive than the chandeliers just to make a little candle? Right, I just need... Um, I just need two candles to put on the other table. So it's worth getting two pieces of gold for that, isn't it? Right. If I just take two pieces of gold and plonk them down in there, uh, if I just do that, then I can put the uh, the rest of the gold back so I don't <laughs> end up somehow losing it. You know what I'm like. And then I can go make myself a couple sandals. Sandals? Candles. I can make myself some sandals so you can wear some comfy footwear as you walk around. And I love the way you hold it as well. I love the way you go around holding the actual candle. I think next time I explore a cave, I'm going to hold the candle. It kind of makes it look a bit spooky, uh, spookier, you know, going around <laughs> holding a little candle like that. But here we go. Put one on there. And uh, one on there. And the final and most important ingredient is the L. You know, there's no point having this big bar and everyone sitting around thirsty with nothing to drink. I need to make, was it Stampy's? I can't remember what I called it. Stampy's Magnificent Brew or I don't know, something along those lines. <laughs> right, so I need um, a load of glass, I think, to make, um, I think it's mugs you make in this game, I believe. And so if I smelt the, the sand to make some glass, I should be able to make mugs. And where's that mechanic guy? I kind of I kind of want to see him. I can't remember if he's uh, if he's new or not. And it says I can make something new there. Oh, I can make a snow brick. I didn't know there was snow brick. Does that like mean it won't melt or anything? Oh, I could do that. If I do uh, end up deciding to live in an igloo or something, um, then I could use that. I know I keep changing my mind for what I'm going to live in every five seconds, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Right, so how do I make mugs? Is it somewhere, somewhere around here, is it? I can make bottled water. These are all like bottles and stuff. Oh, here we go. I can make mugs and bottles. Right, let's make a whole load of mugs. And I should probably uh, like make a barrel or something as well to go behind the bar. And then that way I can store, if not a chest. Now, I know you can make barrels though. I just don't know uh, what you need to make them. Um, oh, I just need to be by the sawmill. I've got what I need though. And uh, look how crowded it is. Look how like empty all of the other rooms are compared to this room. Like, I think this is what I need to do. I need to spend a few videos going through all of my rooms and giving them as much love and care as I've given this place. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully the place, like my whole hotel will look a lot nicer. Right, how am I going to put this barrel down somewhere? I've kind of, I've kind of got a little bit cramped, you know. I might just put it, I don't know where, can, can I do like a little platform and put it above here, do you reckon? Uh, I don't know how much room it takes. I'm guessing I've got to place it, like, on a surface, though. If I do that there, could I put a barrel on top? Oh, there we go! That's quite cool. I kind of like that, actually. This is this is quite a funky-looking place. Right, how do I make the, um... How do I make... Uh, actually, no, I need to try and use use that keg. So, I believe I might now just be able to make some L. Here we go! I can make some L. Let's go and make a whole load of drinks. There we go. I made 15 of them. Doesn't it look tasty? Can I put it down on something? Can I put it on the floor? I oh, know I just drink it. Oh, I just drank two. Oh dear, I'm starting to feel a bit dizzy already. What does it actually do? It's sort of, I can see that it's given me some sort of a buff or something. Uh, I'm tipsy, apparently. Increases melee abilities, lowered defense. Oh, it's, it's kind of like a, a bit of a trade-off then. If I drink loads, do I get more than tipsy or do I just stay tipsy? <laughs> no, I just stay tipsy. There we go. I've just drank like, I don't know, like I think like eight or something uh, beer. I'm going to put the uh, the rest in the barrel just so uh, some other people can have some. But here we go. Here is Stampy's Basement Bar. I think this looks really awesome. And like once I fill up the rest of the hotel, like full of all things like this, I think the whole place uh, will look pretty awesome. And so, yeah, what I'm going to do between videos is I'm going to go and fill in the rest of the roots and maybe uh, make them a little bit bigger. And then, who knows? Leave suggestions for things that you want me to do. Uh, if there's any bosses that I'm missing you want me to go after, uh, I might do that soon. If you want me to go mining again, I'll do that. If you want me to carry on building, I'll do that. I'm at your whim. Just leave a comment down below and uh, whatever most people vote for is what I'm going to be doing in the next few videos. But hopefully uh, you did enjoy this video. I certainly had a good time. And oh, look, is this the mechanic? Um, really? That's where you chose to go? Look how many rooms we've got. Look at all of these empty rooms. And you decide 
that you would like to perch yourself there. Shall I, shall I let her in? Shall I, shall I break this and let her drop down? Come on, love. Jump, jump through the ceiling. You know, we do have two front doors, but if you want to come in from that way, it's fine. What can I get from her then? Is she new? Uh, let me try and talk to her. Oh, you know what this house needs? More blinking lights. More blinking lights? <laughs> um, oh, she's all mechanical things. Leather, switches, wire, wire cutters. A whole load of things that I have no idea how to use. I'm not going to worry about that for now. I'm going to wait until I've <laughs> learned a bit more about the game. And sorry for dragging out this outro for so long. I'm sure you got things to get on with. I'm going to go and leave you to do that now. So I just want to end, as I always do, by thanking you very much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys all later. <laughs> Bye!